Welcome to Tulip, and I'm going to give you a really quick overview, just a tour of the platform to help you get started and find your way around. So when you first start off in Tulip, what you're looking at here is the app editor. This environment is where you go to create apps and manage your account. The people on your shop floor, for example, who are using the Tulip player, they're not going to have access to this portion of the platform. This is only for those who are developing applications and managing the account. So the first page here that you're starting off on is the apps page. You can get to there by hovering over apps and clicking the apps button or just clicking the apps button. And what that's going to do is bring you here where you can see to the left all of your applications. We've preloaded some in here for you to take a look at uh, and they're organized into different groups. You can reorganize these, delete these, or create new groups and apps as you wish. If you want to edit an application or create a new one or publish it, you have to click on it first. So clicking on it will bring you to the apps page and here you can see different sections. So these sections are where your analytics are, is where you can create different uh, charts and things for your, for, your, for your data. You can also do version controlling so you can publish applications. We can go through approval processes so you can allow certain people, you can require certain people to approve an app before it gets published to your shop floor. If you want to actually edit the app, you can click on any of these steps and it'll bring you into the editor where you can change the app. You can put buttons down here, you can add triggers, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. This is where you create your app and there's so much you can do, I couldn't even begin to cover it in, uh, in this video. So <clears throat> that's how you do that. There's also tables. So tables are where you go ahead and create essentially an Excel database in the background. It's a database in the background that you can use to, you can access and you can uh, bring into your application. You can also write to tables. So this is a great place for you to store information like orders or performance metrics or things like this. All the information you might want to store that your apps might use, a good place to store them would be tables. They look just like uh, tables you're familiar with where they have different rows and fields and you can add as many as you'd like. You can also do queries and aggregations, which we can get into later. So this is your table section. There's also connectors. So connectors is connectors are how you connect to external systems. So maybe it's an ERP or maybe it's an API to Google. This is where you can create connectors that you can use in your applications. Then there's the app library. The app library is uh, free for you to visit and download from. Here we provide a bunch of applications. We release them all the time of industry best practice applications. So maybe you're interested in a work instructions application template or a zebra printer unit test. You can click here, watch the video, and download that application into your instance and start using it right away. There's also the shop floor. So clicking on the shop floor, there's stations, machines, visions, and gateways. So, so stations will allow you to see all the stations that are deployed in your production that are able to access Tulip applications. So a station is essentially a device uh, that you can <clears throat> allow users to sign into. So here you can see all the stations you have, you can group them, you can search by them, you can see what apps they're running and who's running them. You can also determine what version they're going to be able to use. So maybe they're going to use the development version of the apps or the production version or maybe only certain apps. This is up to you for how you want to manage these stations. Machines are how you connect to uh, OPC UA servers. So machines will print information to the cloud, maybe a kept server of some kind. And what Tulip will let you do with this tab is create a machine in Tulip that's connected and represents that machine that's printing to that server. You can use it in your applications. You can, you can monitor its, its production, its, its values coming off the machine. You can use that in logic within your applications. So gateways are how you can connect to devices that are physical devices connected through Tulip's hardware, so Edge.io or the Gateway. There's, there's, we have a lot of products that you can use to plug in to the physical world and connect to it. So when you click on your Gateways tab, you can see a list of the gateways you have installed and you can, or you have connected to your platform, and you can open up the Gateway portal, which will allow you to access your gateway and determine which devices you want to connect to. So there's a lot of drivers in here you can use. You can even connect to Node-RED if you'd like to. And what this does is it lets you connect to say our light kit or maybe a sensor or a, a foot pedal of some kind 
or, or anything you can really imagine. This is where you can configure drivers as well as light kit. So drivers, this is just a list of some of the drivers we have available. So you can have, you know, fluke meters and, and culver drivers and RFID scanners and all the sorts of stuff like that. Your gateway can handle all those connections. For example, I'd like to show you the light kit. The light kit connects to the gateway. And if you look behind me, you can see that the lights are showing up there. And if I move this around, then the gateway is interacting with this physical device and making it really easy for you to, to use in your tool of applications. So gateways are really powerful. They allow you to connect to the physical world and you can manage them through the gateways tab. And then vision is, an, is a tool where you can connect cameras and these cameras are gonna run through Tulip's vision system, which will allow you to do all sorts of things like recognize that people are walking into the screen or you can recognize that a hand has gone over a bin or track a jig as it moves through your facility. There's a lot of great use cases for, for vision and I highly recommend checking it out. Um, over here, if you want to download the application or download the player, so everything you've seen so far is how the, how the person who's building applications and managing the account uses it. But if you want someone to use the thing, they have to download the player and log into your instance. So downloading the player is, uh, you can click here to download it and install it on whatever device you want to use. It's also available as an Android app or you can access it through the web browser. Uh, and then over here is settings. In your settings, you can actually invite new users. So here you could add a user and allow them to use your applications, or you can allow them to be editors and collaborators with you as you manage the account and create applications. So users are going to be a way you do that. Once you add a user, it's going to send them an email and they'll be able to log in unless you're just creating an operator account. So there's an operator account or here, which they have the, the ability to run the player. You just give them a badge ID and when they log into that station, it'll ask for their badge and they can sign in. So this is how you manage users. You can also add custom fields to users, uh, which is a lot like a tulip table attached to a user. And then there's the bots. So bots allow you to connect with the API. So there's API documentation here. You can look here and connect other services, other platforms to tulip and do all sorts of things here. So take a look here and see if there's anything interesting you want to do or anything you're trying to accomplish. But that's how that works. And then there's the dashboards. So dashboards allow you to basically, if you have your app and it's creating analytics, so it's creating charts and graphs and things of this nature, and you want to put them all in one place and send them to someone or put them on a big screen somewhere, you can use the dashboard here. And what the dashboards are going to do is let you basically share this as a link to some, for someone. So you could share this and you could send this link to someone and they could visit and look at your uh, dashboard. Or they could sign in and they could use Tulip and they could use an application that has analytics built in. But dashboards is where you can build a bunch of different dashboards that you can share with your team or a wider audience, perhaps, uh, where they can look at different uh, you know, visualizations of the data that Tulip is producing. So I hope that was a helpful orientation just to get you acquainted with the platform. Each one of these areas has a wealth of knowledge you can look up in a knowledge base or in university to get you started. Thanks.